What is up guys, this is DJ Shady, welcome back to another video, uh, this is actually going to be a little bit different, uh, today I'm just going to be showing you guys the best way to record gameplay, I've gotten a few questions asked on how I record my gameplays, and honestly I've been struggling a little bit on these past few days on how to um, kind of make it look good without being choppy and in reality, it is X or rendered into 60 FPS, but it didn't really look like it. If you guys want, go look at my past few videos if you really give a shit. But today, I figured out a way to fix it, and uh, since you know, since you guys asked how I do it, might as well. Also, just saying, right now I'm using OBS to record, and hello Counter Strike. Um, yeah, so this is OBS. This is actually a little bit trippy, but if you guys want, I can explain in a different video how to use OBS. This is just to record. This isn't really that much for gaming. I mean, it's good, but it's better. DX Story, which is what I'm going to be talking about, is better for gaming. So DX Story. Also, if you guys really want to, um, you know, leave a comment in the comment section if you guys want me to make a video on how to get DX Story for free because I do believe it's about sixty bucks. And uh, I mean, of course, I don't get anything for free, so yeah, there is a way to get it for free. But okay, here we are. This is DX Story. Uh, I, I, you know what, I'm just gonna X out of, uh, yeah, I'm gonna X that out real quick. Okay, so I have it in a little folder, whatever, it doesn't fucking matter, you're gonna open this up, I already have it at counter I mean, yeah, at Counter-Strike. Alright, whew, <sighs> getting already too off topic, okay, so, when you download it, if you download it, um, you will see that, this is what you're gonna see, you're gonna see default, this is basically your profile, or, uh, what you want to record, so I clearly have a lot of Minecraft, only because of the fucking versions, not because... Huh? <coughs> God bless my soul. <clears throat> it's kind of awkward. Okay. So, if you, like me, are going to be recording Counter-Strike, you can click that, or you can just make a default and whatever program you have open, it will automatically switch. Either way, I keep it at Counter-Strike. Nothing really to change here. This just, uh... This is just to change your frame rate, I guess. You won't ever be needing to change this. I keep it there. Basically, it's green when you're not recording, and it's this orange-brown color when you are recording, so you can see the difference. Here's just the folder that you want to save it into. I keep it literally in my movies, in the E folder, but literally, you're supposed to just... Okay, this is the local disk where my Windows is, so you don't want to keep it on that. So I keep it on my second hard drive, and I keep it in just the movies folder and here are all my CSGO recordings. So yeah, I know it's a mess right now. I haven't cleaned it in a while, but yeah. Uh, you know, I'm not, honestly, I'm not going to be going in too much into depth, in depth about this. You want to click add folder and then you want to find it. But if you guys want, go find a better tutorial because I'm not going to be making a tutorial. I'm just going to be showing you guys. Uh, this is just a keyboard, like uh, what you click to record click for me it's five on the number pad you never ever in your life are going to be using the screenshot thing so don't even worry about that uh here is where it gets a little bit interesting right now you're going to turn it on this is what you're going to have probably and uh, yeah pretty much so this dx story video codec is perfectly fine i used it all the time don't uh well until like maybe a few days back um until you realize that your files are always so big, and this isn't really a big deal if you have a, a big computer, you know, you have a terabyte hard drive. All you have to do is just literally record. I'd say maybe a 15 minute recording is 50 gigabytes. So, to me, that's not that much to a terabyte, even if I delete it after, you know? But to you, that might be a fuck ton. So, I recommend using this Lagerith Lossless Codec, and uh, it really helped a lot. I'm gonna leave this link in the description below. This looks like some crappy ass website but trust me it works it's literally so easy you click this this installer thing you open it up click yes you click next finish i was like whoa whoa, whoa. did i see whoa, 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 whoa. That's it? <laughs> and basically i come back and i see it here and i'm like okay then i guess that's cool also what i had so much trouble with is i i, I always had it at 60 fps and for some reason it, it was good but Maybe it was me, but like, it. I just didn't get the 60 FPS. Like I've seen so many videos where they're so much smoother. So I said, "Fuck it, I'll do 120 FPS." If you don't want to, you don't have to. It's just me. Maybe because I got it for free. Maybe it's like fucked up or something. I don't know. But 120 works perfectly fine for me. 
Also, make sure you're at AVI. Everything else you could kind of keep the same except for percent. Make sure it's at 100 because even though 50 is still going to be full screen, it's not going to be the same. Just keep it at 100, same thing. And size, make it 1920 by 1080 if you want full HD. If you want regular 720p, just do 1280 by 720. Alright, that was a mouthful. Let's do this. This is just literally, I don't know, if you guys want, you can switch. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> you kind of kind of need to switch it to your mic. I haven't fucked with this for the past six months I've been using this. So I really don't want to fuck anything up. If you have, like me, a blue Yeti connected, I just kind of moved it. That's pretty great. Pretty good. Okay, whatever. Um, you uh, are gonna have. You're gonna see this USB audio device. I'm not gonna go into depth about how to connect it and make it recognizable and shit. Just make sure that's attached. If this is your USB, and I don't know what the fuck PCM is, but it works. So yeah, and also if you want to. You could make it push to talk, but I just keep it recording, and when I edit in Sunny Vegas, uh, what the fuck is it? Okay, whatever. When I edit, I can, you know, mute it if I don't need it, if I accidentally decided not to mute my mic, but usually I would mute my microphone, and, you know, I don't record it, but whatever. Here we are to the screenshot thing that you're not going to be using ever, so don't even fucking look at it. This right here, um... A lot of people don't uh, really notice this, but you kind of need to change the processing threads. I had it at 1. I made it 8 because I have a quad-core processor. So you make it 8. <clears throat> and also, I thought this is like make it limited 60 FPS and higher, so I checked it off. Then I realized it means maximum 60. So of course, if you could do more than 60, that would be more than fine. And it's not going to be that big of a file size because now you got Lagerith. And honestly, I'm going to be honest. I usually, when I didn't have Lagerith and I used the regular one, God damn it. Leo, I will, give me a second, alright, Leo, Leo, okay, okay, no, but seriously, um, when I, uh, when I would finish recording, I would go into my folder, I'd go like this, you know, movies, whatever, and then I would wait for this fucking video, here, I was waiting for it, and I was like, where is it, and then I realized, it's already done. It literally did it that quick. It's 11 fucking gigabytes, whereas this is... Well, it, I don't know. Maybe that was... I don't know. Okay, either way, it does it much quicker, and literally, if you're gonna delete it after, then it's perfectly fine. So, don't worry. Don't even worry about it. Um, This, yeah, once again, I already went over that. Nothing really here to change, and this is fine. Basically, this is DX story. It looks confusing at the moment right now for you guys. You guys are like, what the fuck did he just say? All these tabs. But in reality, after a while, literally all you need to do is fucking turn on DX story. Once you have all these things saved, you keep it on and you open up Counter Strike, which is what we're going to do to show you guys that it works. Hopefully, this. I'm just going to wait. <clears throat> Hopefully, that didn't crash. If it did crash, welcome back. If it didn't, now you're just seeing me act all stupid, but let's just quickly jump into offline with bots. Also, you see that? I don't know if you guys can see this, but it says 118 FPS right there, and uh, that's just, you know, that's the DX Tory FPS. As soon as you click record, that will become orange, and you guys will see that. Uh, we're going to click Mirage, I guess, no bots, whatever the fuck, and we're going to load up just the regular thing, just so we can fool around, just so you guys can see how it looks when I actually play and you guys will see the difference between right now the OBS because to be honest it's not gonna look that good in OBS but um, great it, uh, I get really slow when I type so I apologize for that okay I'm gonna quickly buy an AK alright three two one wow so that was kind of awkward uh, I guess when I clicked record, um, the DX story replaced OBS, so I couldn't record as I was making a video. But um, I guess I'm going to continue it from there. What you guys just missed was this recording, and uh, it really doesn't see, matter. It's just you guys saw that I was recording this, and I was like running around doing some stupid shit. But um, basically, I put this into Sony Vegas. I'll do this again for you guys because I literally just edited it. And I looked at the recording, and I'm like, why the fuck is it so short? Then I realized it cut off as soon as I started recording. So, okay, you turn on Sony Vegas once again. Well, actually, not once again, because I mentioned this in the old video. But if you guys are interested in a video of how to get Sony Vegas Pro 13 for free, 
uh, go check out the description below and there will be a video on how to get this program for free it is also it does also cost money so of course if you don't feel like buying it like myself go check out the video where I in-depth explain it explain how to get it for free and it works because clearly I'm using it so whatever without talking about more you wanna open this up and click new uh, suggesting or implying that you already have Sony Vegas I'm explaining how how to do it so okay you click new new project uh, you want to make it 1920 by 1080 of course if you don't want to you can make it 1280 by 720 to make it 720p of course you can make this 59 FPS it really doesn't matter right now because we're only in the timeline but yeah you want to click OK if you already had a project you could just click this little thing and edit it and then you know whatever Let's switch it and then switch it back click apply OK so okay we have this empty project you want to drag damn it drag this full file that I already rendered this is right here but um, basically I'm just gonna redo it uh, do you want to set your project video it's video settings to match this media this isn't anything bad uh, you could just click no because since I recorded this in 120 FPS I don't really want to make it 120 FPS right now so I'm just gonna click no and uh, here we are at the video I'm gonna shorten it to about right here it really doesn't matter and uh, in that last video, I was criticizing myself for, I guess, making it too much saturation. So you know what? This time I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to fuck with uh, color correction. I'm just going to keep it normal. And this is just the OG video that we just fucking recorded while you guys were gone. But here we go. You want to, once you finished editing, doing your shit, putting the music in, you double click it, double click it, or you select this little... I get I don't know what this, this area quote unquote thing is called. Basically, just double fucking click and it will highlight it. Then you want to click File, Render As, or I'm pretty sure there is like a, is this it? Render As? Yeah, I you I always do File Render As, but you could click that button as well if you're too lazy. Uh, also, or not also. Okay, so here we are at this thing. This could be a little bit confusing. First thing you want to do is find Main Concept AVC MP4. This is the file that anyone can use, upload it to YouTube because most Chances are you're going to upload whatever you edit onto YouTube. So you want to click this down arrow, drop down into Internet HD 1080p. And then you want to scroll down and click Customize. And if you want, of course, because the whole point of everything is to make it 60 PS. So 60.00000, I think. I don't know. I'm going to click Allow. Yes, I got it. All right. So I don't know exactly if you should allow the source to adjust frame rate. For now, it has worked fine with me turning it off. So I guess I'm going to kind of keep it without it. But now you could just click OK. I'm going to make it at my best because that's what I use. It's literally the same thing. You would have seen a change here. So don't worry. It's nothing, nothing different. I just like using best because I'm fucking weird like that. But this already exists. Do I want to overwrite it? Sure. What the fuck? Why not? Um, <laughs> as I'm rendering right now, I wanted to show you guys something really quick. Uh, you know, <laughs> many of you guys may know that a new update came out, and hopefully nothing crashes once again. I swear to God if this fucking recording crashes again, but many of you guys know that we're stuck. Okay, many of you guys know for the third, third, third time that there was a new CSGO update, which makes it look retarded when you defuse a bomb, new animations for you to run slower, look faker, and pull out your knife, which is so much cooler. They nerfed the M4A1S, which I'm fine with because I clearly use the M4A4. And if you take a look at my Karambit, it's the fucking derpiest thing in the world. And I literally fucking died when I saw this thing because I, I don't know. I see this and it looks so fucking gay that I don't even want to have a Karambit anymore. And then you look at the USB and it's like, hmm, fucking weird as shit. So basically, I really hope that they, uh, they change this in the next bug update i guess because this looks fucking retarded and i do not like it whatsoever but uh yeah that's enough of me cursing on counter strike and let's come back i probably shouldn't have eh whatever it doesn't matter i guess i'll be oh fuck i forgot to disable resampling god damn it i should have i was gonna say right click click on switches and then disable resampling because now i see and you can see the ghost thing <sighs> whatever i whatever hopefully you guys understand that i force it have I need to do quit and I guess I'll be right back once this is fully rendered it's literally gonna take like 
two more minutes, but whatever, I'll be right back. Alright, alright, you hear that doo ding and you get so happy because your video that looks like shit is finally rendered. So, here we are. Right now I'm going to play it at the same time as uh, I am right now, so you guys can kind of see what just happened. But yeah, 3, 2, 1. If you click console, you'll see that it's orange now. And hello, people of DX Tory. I am gay as fuck, and I approve this message. I guess I'm just going to be kind of spinning. Also, by the way, my uh, OBS is also at... Um, Alright, so... Uh, I was kind of, like, talking in that whole video, but I never knew that this OBS recording was going to get cut off. But whatever. Um, either way, that was the video. Of course, it might look a little bit too much for you guys, but personally, I can't stand the choppiness of videos. And when when I see that, I get so happy inside. N not sexually intended, but yeah, I'm just gonna ignore I ever said that. <laughs> All right, so basically, now you're done. In my opinion, the X story is worth the money, but I would still never buy it in my life. <laughs> Cause <clears throat> let's be honest, I'd rather buy a Star Trek up Asimov than buying that fucking thing. You know, so. On a serious note, though, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, I convinced you guys that DX Tory is really, really good. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I helped you guys, in a way. Um, once again, if you guys think that 60 FPS is too much, you can, of course, make it 30. I personally love the smoothness of the video. But without further ado, I'm going to conclude this video. Once again, if you guys want me to make a video on how to get DX story for free, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. And also make a colon motherfucking D in the comment section below if you stay till the end. But of course, no one even comments, even when they watch the first five seconds. So that's not going to happen. But without further ado, I will conclude this video. And hopefully you guys were uh, helped. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.